What is going on guys? Welcome to Burger. In today's video I like to talk about this cable pulley here that is now almost a year old. So I saw that everybody's interested in this cable pulley here which I think is awesome and you had a lot of questions so I might just answer them right here in this video. So the first question is um, can you send me the plans? Yes I can send you the plans but I wasn't smart enough to just make a Dropbox link and just put everything there. Uh, it's drawn by hand, but I've made it as clear as possible. If you still have any questions, please email me at baruki uh, at gmail.com or something like that. But the plans are there. Link in the description. Also link in the description of the original video. So if you want the plans, you can find them there. Also put in some pictures so you can analyze things better. So this thing has been doing great here in this gym. I really love it. And the girls also love it. So my girlfriend and, and her friends, they train here as well when we train. And it's always fighting to use a cable pulley machine. And that's awesome. I think um, you've accomplished something when the thing that you made is really successful. Even if it's just in your space, I think it's awesome. So um, this thing is doing well. It's holding up great. I don't have any complaints about it. Just to give you a quick overview of the, the cable pulley. So it's a cable pulley that is able to pull from above but also from below. So the way you switch in between is by this uh, nice handy thing here. You hook this up like so and then you can pull from down below. The only thing I had to change was this hook here because uh, we pulled on it from below and we, we cracked the hook up, but now I made a stronger hook and that's all good. On um, the storage, it has storage for your attachments on both sides. It's attached to the wall. It's also plate loaded, so uh, you take your plates that you already have laying around and you throw them on there. Uh, there are two guiding posts. I don't know if it's visible. Let me change the angle here. So, there are two guiding posts. Uh, which are used to guide the block up and down. So uh, as you can see from here now, the block is going up and down. So that is a quick overview of the pulley station. Uh, another question that gets popped up a lot is how much does this thing cost and can you buy a good cable pulley for the same price? On the first question I would say it costs around 200 euros. Uh, with the expensive pulley wheels uh, with the metal uh, that is really just the more expensive part all the wood and stuff that is fairly cheap can you buy a cable pulley plate loaded for in your home gym for that amount of euros obviously you can um, but that is not the goal of this build the goal was just to have something that was self-made that was just fitting in the gym and I love to make stuff and I love to to have some DIY projects hanging around and they don't always end up being cost effective and that's okay I just do it because I love the build if you want a cheap version you make something like the spud ink and I think a coop from garage gym reviews has a great video on that I suggest you check that one out uh, I'll post a link here somewhere um, but yeah, if you want a cheap version, go for something that you can throw in your rack or on the pull-up bar. Uh, this will not be a cheap version. So 200 euros, mainly the pulleys were like 25 euros each. So there are already three in them. So that bumps up the costs uh, tremendously. Another question that pops up a lot is how much does this thing carry? What is the maximum capacity of this cable pulley? Well. Uh, the maximum that I ever hung on it was 90 kilos and that was for the intro that I filmed from the other video uh, where I hung here. So uh, 90 kilos is a lot guys. Maybe you come from a gym setup and you want to go to the home gym area and you think okay uh, in the gym I could pull like 120 kilos and now you say I only can pull like 90. Well that's not true. Um, the reason for this is that this is one pulley wheel 
You know what? I'm rambling here. Let's go to the drawing board and I explain you how pulleys work and then you know why 90 kilos is enough on this cable pulley. And maybe it, maybe it can pull more. I never did it. So I never needed to. All right, let's go. So let's take a look at how pulleys work. So a pulley is actually just a wheel that transfers a load from one direction to another one, right? So you have a load here, so the load pulls down, that's a force. So uh, that pulley just makes sure that you can pull that force from another direction. So if we look at the cable pulley that I made, here you have your weight, you have your pulley wheel, you have another pulley wheel, and then you pull from here with your ropes. So if you have a force here that's pulling downwards and we call this force one and we pull with a force two, right? What we'll see is that they only have one connection here, one, 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 one. So that means that force one is equal to force two, right? So the weight that you're pulling is actually the weight that's on the stack. If we look at commercial gyms, the pulleys that they use are usually something like this. So they also have the upward pulley, the two pulleys here, right? And then on the weight stack, you also have a pulley that is connected. So this pulley goes here, but that pulley usually is attached to the whole contraption that is made around it, right? So if you have a force, uh, F1 that is pulled from here, let's say 90 kilos, and you pull from there, right? This force is spread in equal parts to this pulley and to that anchoring point. So that anchoring point is actually going to take half of the load of F1. And here that means that on the other side where you are pulling, you're pulling F2, and we can say that F2 is equal to F1 divided by 2. So if here we put 90 kilos, we're only putting 45. So if this is 90, right, kg, that means that here we pull 45 kg, right? And this anchoring point will have a load, will, will be pulled on with also 45 kg. So here you see on the weight stack, they will use the true numbers and they will say, all right, it's 90 kg, but actually you're just pulling 45. Now, if on our home gym setup, we put here 90 kg, that means here on the ropes, we're going to pull 90 kg. So that is basically the big difference. The home gym setup uh, has a need to pull a lot less. And that is what we see in the gym here. I usually have not more than 45 kilos on the weight stack. The benefit of this is that you can pull this rope a lot longer, where here you're going to have a limitation on how far you can pull. If you want to know more about pulleys and if you find this interesting, check out uh, Destin's video of Smarter Every Day. He has a great video uh, where he explains pulleys. So. If you want to know more about this, check out his video, guys. Another question that typically arises is also, where do I find the metal poles? Where do I find the hardware? So um, that may vary from country to country, but the metal poles are really common here in Belgium. So these are poles that are made for fences, the green ones. In Belgium, it's very typical. I don't know what country you are from, but maybe that is going to be a lot more difficult to find. But uh, a great alternative or just galvanized steel pipes that you can use for the same purpose. Um, if you want uh, the, the plate holders, these are like bowl holders that I uh, call them in the other video. But what you can use is just like a flange and you can put a pipe onto the flange and then drill the, the flange into some piece of wood and you have the same idea. So. Um, if you don't really find the exact material that I use here, uh, you can be creative and just find something. The pulley wheels here are spare parts that you can buy for uh, commercial 
cable pulleys so I just use those because I know they will work and I know they, that they are reliable. I think that the local hardware store will be a good place to start uh, if you want to buy this. And uh, don't forget guys, it's not a cheap build, it's something that I made because I love building stuff and I love to have something that I, I can be proud of uh, here in my home gym. So that is really it. Those are the FAQs that I wanted to answer and if there are more, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments down below. So I thank you so much for watching. I hope you leave a like, I hope you leave a sub and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace!